Sarah from the upcoming, so lovely to speak to you. So can you just give us a brief intro to Joel Cohen's take on Macbeth and your role within it? Yes, it's a uh, Joel Cohen's take, as I guess, kind of akin to Hollywood classic cinema, German expressionist cinema. If Orson Welles were around today and did a version of Macbeth, it would be this. It's somewhat similar to Orson Welles' take on Macbeth, actually from eons ago. Uh, I play Seward, who's the Earl of Northumberland, greatest warrior on the planet. And I'm not just saying that, other characters say that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's, that's who I am and what the film is. It really is an ensemble, is the right word for this. Every single person in this knocks it out of the park, you know, puts it in the back of the net, whichever you want to, metaphor you want to use, depending on which side of the pond you're on. Uh, Francis is the warmest, most welcoming company person you can imagine, and you can imagine, that's the thing. We know that. Denzel is, I was floored by his, his ease with the, well, he's a great guy and all that stuff, but his ease work-wise with the text, with that pentameter. Denzel speaks it like he's in training day, like it's just flowing out. And I'm thinking, he's just talking something now. This isn't something that was written 400 odd years ago. It's remarkable. And he said something to us in the rehearsal room, so we rehearsed for about a month. And he said, look, everyone in this room's got a Macbeth in them. You'll all play it. And I suddenly, and I was like my first or second day. And I'm still bedding in going, God, she's great, he's great, they're great. And I suddenly looked around and I thought, well, Corey's wonderful, he could play it. Fran obviously could do it, Denzel's doing it, Harry's great, you know, everyone. And then it, makes, it gives you a sense of agency, you know, a sense of purpose. You're like, well, I guess I do have one in me, I, I belong here. And because of that, then everyone's free just to suggest and rehearse and make mistakes. And, and it makes it really easy by the time you get to set. It was fantastic to work with him. He's a real lad, he's a great, he's a mate already, which is great. Um, it's his vision, and I know that's kind of generic, but hear me out. He's, he sees everything visually, right? And he says that to us in rehearsal. It's, it's a play from the stage, but he's not a theatrical guy. And he doesn't, I don't think he wants to be, I don't think, maybe I'm wrong. But he sees, every, whenever he's looking at a piece of text, he's like, okay, so I'm on the ground looking up at a crow. That's where I am. It's just the way his mind works. And you see it on screen, it's extraordinary what he's done, really. I'm honored to work with him, and. Of course, I might let him work with me again in the future. That'd be great. First off, I hope everyone has an enormous fun, right? That's all. Just have a great time, have a blast. And to, to be here in London is, it's almost like it's coming home because we're just along from the, from the globe, from, from where it was written and performed first. So, so that's exciting. And for me personally, it's great because I've been living in the States for 20 years. So to come home to London for this is, is fun. And you can get good beer here, so rock on.